So it's uh, it's Kaleidoscape Week at Pulse Cinemas, which is which is. Uh, been uh, so far, hopefully, I think a really positive experience for everyone, and something we've been building up to, uh, and certainly Pulse has, has been building up to. Um, it's just a great opportunity for everyone to interact with, for you, with you guys, and interact with the system and to learn a little bit more. So, uh, we're here with Tim and Norma. So, uh, if you want to start with just introducing yourselves and 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 what your role is at the company, and uh, yeah, absolutely. So. Um I'm Tim Barnes. I've been, this is my 16th year at Clyde Escape, so I've kind of like the old timer. I've been here for a while. Um, I run, I was running U.S. sales, and now I'm VP of sales for international and marine and really focus on Canada and U.K., and that's why we're here is really to bring Clyde Escape back and really focus on our business here in, in, the, in the U.K. Great stuff. Hi, so I'm Norma, and I'm a newbie to Clyde Escape, although half years you know you're no longer oh come on you You multiply by dog years is that what happens here okay (laughs) all right 14 and a half all right 14 and a half years at kaleidoscape um and i am the vp of marketing for um i'm actually do global marketing my heart has always been with international territories because my previous career i was um an international marketer so i would market films from film film from various film studios and um no i'm i'm really excited to be here especially working with pulse because meeting mike i think there's kindred spirits when you meet someone who is so passionate about an industry and uses storytelling to sell the product and experience you feel like you're a little bit like sympatico so i'm Mm. yeah yeah, you, it, it, it's 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 it. I think the thing that we keep coming back to a lot with 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 a, a system like Kaleidoscape is what you're selling is entertainment, emotion, memories. Yep. It, it, that's what it's all about. The, obviously, the equipment's important, and 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 I know we've been creating some some Q and As that people can go and uh, check out on the Pulse website, and uh, uh, but also uh, it's actually just about getting behind. Uh, the equipment as well, and and this is a, as a people industry. We all we all know that. So, um, been having a, the chance to meet a lot of people this week so far already. I know it's always already been pretty intense. Tell us about uh, your experience at Minotti, Minotti London uh, on Monday had a, an event there where you got to meet dealers and dealers got to meet you in this 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 amazing environment, which is bringing you know wonderful interior design and furniture and furnishings together with high-end home cinema on the Collider Tape system. So how did that go? It was great. First of all, I love Minotti. So just being in their showroom, I was like, oh, my God. Did you buy? I did not. Okay. I want to, <laughs> and I will, be back. I will yeah, be, back. I will be back. I will be back. But um, it was really nice to be in, in a very intimate environment and show off the, you know, we did a couple of demos, and having intimate conversations with the dealers and explain the, you know, what is, you know, Kaleidoscape in history. And Tim can speak a little bit more to what he's, what he's shared. But more importantly, talk about what is new, what is different. And for me, it was a very, um, an opportunity to listen and to really lean in and understand what are the needs here. Because oftentimes, and I'm putting my American hat on, is that when you have an American, you know, company, you think from an, uh, you know, an American perspective, and of course you're trying to think of scale and efficiencies and et cetera, but you lose out on the, on the nuances of just the culture, right? And the people and the audience, really at the end of the day, it's the audience, like what is best for them? And uh, it was, I love the interaction I love the questions and the Q&A that we had, and I love that people spoke up, and I was taking notes. I feel like, I don't know, Tim, I was trying to answer, you got most of the questions, but we were trying to answer as many questions as we had, but I think it was really, I guess, having that open dialogue and saying, yes, we want to hear, want to hear your, the, 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 the pain points, obviously but we also want to go back to what we're doing what we're doing to overcome them mm-hmm. yeah i think the i think the setting was perfect because it wasn't like we were doing a powerpoint it was an open discussion 
you know, Mike set this up and, and, you know, he kept telling me, well, we really can't go dealer to dealer to dealer because you'll see about two dealers. And we didn't realize that because I don't think we'd experienced London traffic until right. now. And <laughs> I've been to LA, I've been all over the place and London's yeah, it's the worst, bad but it really was, it was a great experience. And, you know, it also showed the passion of the, that the dealers have for what they're doing in this business. And, um, you know, they are passionate about cinemas or media rooms and making the best experience for the customers. And they were very open. And, you know, we didn't sit down and have a, we, we talked about a PowerPoint and going through this formal thing that we do in the U.S. And it, that wouldn't have worked. I think it was just a really good experience. And I think we had like 30 dealers there that it was just great and to, to get their feedback and take a little bit different view because I think we are so focused on U.S. dealers. I yeah. think there were some different things that came out of that that uh, I never even thought about. And it's really opened my eyes how we can work closer with Pulse and work closer with the dealers to, uh, you know, help our products come to market. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it is he, a great space. I mean, it's a great idea, I think, for, for Pulse to kind of partner with a, with a company like that who have the same ambition, the same ideals in terms of, you know, what they're doing, what they're producing, producing something unique, something high-end, something that that's, that's feels uh, like a luxury item. And combining that with the AV side, I think it's just a, a, a great way of doing things. And that kind of brings us around to to uh, the event today. Uh, similar idea, lots of dealers coming in. We were at uh, Pulse HQ. Uh, so just give us your impressions of, 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 of this building and, and, and uh, the the facilities they have here. I mean, what, what, what do you feel that, that Pulse adds to uh, uh, the home cinema industry in general, but also the Kaleidoscape propo uh, uh, proposition with, with, with this building and everything they have here? Well, you know, I work with a few other distributors, and, and this is a very unique distributor because of the showroom experience. I mean, there is there's very few people that have a showroom like this and then have the different theaters where we can you know, show our products. And obviously we also got some great cooking today too, which was kind of oh, nice, the but the kitchen, yeah, the, yeah, it was incredible. It was always great. Here. <laughs> yeah. The kit, but the, you know, you walk in the this kitchen and it's very comfortable. <laughs> and, um, you know, I think once again, you know, just like when we were in London, I think up here, oh, it's uh, the dealers are very passionate. There was some great dialogue today in the, in the theater. And, um, you know, but this ex this center is beautiful. I mean, you know, we're in the we are in a beautiful theater, to being able to talk to customer to talk to dealers and customers, and uh, and show the product and have an open dialogue and get a lot of feedback. And I don't think we could have done that in their showroom. And and usually, you know, I'm always a little nervous when we have a group of dealers because it could be a mob thing. It's like so I don't like this, I don't like this, but there wasn't that. It was all you know, very positive questions and. People really want to learn about not just our products, but I think any products that Pulse shows here. And there's no better place to do it. I mean, this is just a very unique showroom. And, and if people, ha if a dealer hasn't been up here, I really recommend they come up. They're not just going to see Kaleidoscape. They're going to see just, you know, beautiful theater settings and different type of showrooms. I highly recommend it. I mean, there's no better experience center. When I also think what really separated this space is that, um, first of all, it was in the the most immersive environment. I mean, ideally, you want to be in a cinema environment, right? You have bells and whistles, and you have the right acoustics, and everything has been calibrated, because you need to feel the difference. And for me, coming from the, from the film world, that was exactly why directors and producers create content. We want you to be totally immersed in our story and i mean hands down i mean mike uh, here we're gonna do i'm doing do an applause i don't know if you can hear it <laughs> but this space is amazing i want to stay here i kind of jealous that i didn't hit you up for my 50th birthday party but i would have i would have brought it over here <laughs> overseas but um the space really does do that and so if you ignite those those triggers of this is a a space that is going to transport you. So anything that you present has to be at that gold golden standard. And I feel like that's what Pulse does. They 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 provide that. And so anything that they're going to show is going to hold up to that value, to that 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 level of excellence. And and speaking to the dealers here in this space because that you know we wanted wanted them to really experience it, experience a product and the optimal solution is. Um, I found out that we, we share the same passion. I mean, ultimately, we are at service. We're in the service of providing exceptional experiences to the end consumer. Mm -hmm. And so when you tap into that, 
then you will do what it takes to provide that. And you're going to be authentic and you're going to be real and you don't want to provide anything less, right? And so when we were getting questions, I mean, actually, I was, I liked the questions that they brought on, even the most challenging questions. I felt like we were very authentic in answering them. But I think we were coming from the same heart. And when you share that passion of, yes, but we want to transport people. We want for that, for those two hours, those three hours, or maybe 30 minutes, five minutes, depending on what they're watching, what content they're watching, right? Because there's movies, there's concerts, there's TV series, is the suspension of disbelief. Mm -hmm. We are in the business of providing positive experiences for people that can change biases, that can bring people back to memories relive memories, share memories, right, mm -hmm. with their audiences. I mean, that is, I mean, that's a pretty phenomenal, like, I don't know, I'm lucky, we're lucky that we, we're in that business. So if you hold that to your heart, then you have this extra sense of almost responsibility mm -hmm. that you then have to ensure that everything that is involved in that experience is, is, is exceptional. And so I think it was that connection I felt in speaking to the dealers that made the conversations more authentic. Tell her she's in marketing. I'm in sales. I'm looking for the order, and she's, she's got all these words and beautiful things she talks about. It's awesome. But I mean, you you, you both must. I mean, you both got kind of quite uh, storied kind of backgrounds in in terms of this industry and related industries. So I just wanted to ask you a, a, a quick question about how your former lives, if you like, before coming to Kaleidoscope, kind of inform what you do here. I mean, you have Fuji Film for a long time. You were uh, in film marketing, so Lucasfilm, Paramount, places like ha, w What does your experience in those areas inform in what you're doing now and ha uh, help you do the role that you have now? You know, my experience is obviously I was at Fujifilm. I ended up running uh, U.S. sales for uh, professional products, uh, professional film cameras, things like that. But I was at Kaleidoscape, which, you know, it's about the image. Obviously, we d weren't involved in audio as much as I wasn't on the tape side, which we did do. But even at one point, uh, we created a high-speed, 800-speed motion picture film, for, and we you did that for the movie Das Boot. And I remember getting to go Great to... Great film. Oh, yeah. I love that. And I remember getting to go to the opening of that movie. It was just incredible. And we won, and Fuji won an Academy Award for that film, you know, on the technical side. And so I've always had a passion for, you know, image has to, images are very important to me, looking at the correct colors, looking at, you know, exactly what it is. I just, that's, that's critical. And uh, so that's my experience. And then coming to Clydescape, and working, and I'm like looking at the image, and I'm like, you know, we started off with a disc-based system. Then we went to this, you know, a system now that's basically digital downloads and the best video and audio quality. That video, you know, image is so important to me. When I look at the D-Max, the D-Min, you know, that's important. I don't want to see some some weird colors. I want to see the skin looking natural. I want to see the background. So that really played into where I'm at today. And um Kaleidoscape delivers on that, and it was fun. And, and, you know, I know you come from more of a motion right. picture side film than right. I do. I was more still images and, and stuff like that. So, you know, you've actually helped me learn a lot about some <laughs> of the stuff with sound engineering and things oh, like that, which is pretty incredible. It is, it is um, when you're fortunate enough, because I always like, I like to go back to gratitude. I mean, I, I'm grateful that I got I'd exposed to the companies and to f directors and producers and actors and even the special effects, you know, the people from ILM and Skywalker Sound, is that when you learn what they do and the magic that's behind the emotion of what you see in here, right? And so this is our conscious mind just working in like snippets. But they tap into the subconscious mind, meaning the neuroscience that's behind of, you know, what we, what we are as humans. We're connectors. We look for emotions. And there's certain triggers that these brilliant people, and it's a village, and I always encourage people, if you please, if you watch a film or um, any content, please stay and, and watch the end credits because I know they roll very I'm quickly. I'm an end credits junkie. I love, I, yes, I was watched please right to the do, end. I want to know who, like, was, who was holding the, yes. yeah, everything, every bit. Because all those people, that village, they work together. Mm. To yeah, bring yeah. the fantastic, you know, emotion, tears, memories, childhood memories, or, you know, even a, the, the, the belief that you can be this character and overcome any obstacle. They did that together. And, um, and 
And because I, I was fortunate enough to sit next to those visionaries, I, I understand the hours and, you know, multiple, you know, repeated takes and whatnot to stitch things together to create what we see and feel. And so when working here at Kaleidoscape, it's, it was one of the things that really attracted me to the company is that they honor that because there is a algorithm and a formula and color theory colors stimulate certain emotions when film when colorists are grading films they're doing that for a reason yeah and they hit your subconscious mind when sound engineers are doing a you know a sound effect um sound and a musical score it's meant to take you somewhere it's fact or fiction or it's a raft of emotion that they want you to hold on to Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Fear, emotion, yeah. anxiety. It's there for a reason. And this is because they're tapping into the neuroscience that happens. Mm. This is a psychology and blah, blah, blah for another podcast. Yeah, yeah. But that is what they do. And so when you when you use a product like Kaleidoscape, it that is there. That's that story. That is part of the story. It's not always the actor and the actress and you know the producer and whatnot, the name. It's all these other bits. And all these, all these other details of color that um, really move us, but it's our subconscious mind that takes it in, and it's our conscious mind, and it's because of reading and et cetera that we take in. And so I, I love that, and I think this is why I'm, I'm passionate about it, because mm. you want to relive those, those, those moments, and you can with Kaleidoscape over and over again. I think the other thing is when you think about, we're talking about video and audio yes. and stuff. And, you know, we talk, we were earlier talking yes. about Luke O'Brien on that podcast. Yes. He was with the sound oh, engineer. Oh, good old Luke. But Luke runs the movie guy team. And one of the things they are so passionate about is making sure that video is the best. When we get those mezzanine files, making sure the audio works. And what was the audio, what was the podcast Luke was on? It was with the sound engineer from that movie. Um, the Quiet Place. The Quiet Place. And, and which there isn't a lot of audio, but where they have the audio. It's. Yeah, they get it right when they need to. Don't yeah, they? yeah. And, and that was one of the best podcasts I'd ever heard, just listening to Luke talk, listen to the sound engineer talk, and where his thoughts were, what they were trying to do. It was just incredible. And when we have that movie in the store on your Kaleidoscape system, yeah. it's incredible. It's scary at times, right? Well, it is scary, and I think I even shared when I watched it, because I know, I'm st obviously, I, I still go to the theaters. You know, exhibition's not going to go away. I think there's probably going to be a, a little less of that. Mm -hmm. But with I watched it there, and then I watched it in my Kaleidoscape, and I did the exact same thing. So I was eating my popcorn. <laughs> I was like, I, I put it in the middle of my tongue, and I was letting Quietly. it dissolve. Oh, yeah, Don't because I didn't want to call the monster. Exactly. And it just goes into, it goes in here, and you're like, oh, my God, what's going on? And you didn't sleep the rest of the night, did you? You were scared. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. That, that's what we're all after, you know, in terms of, you know, in terms of this industry, in terms of, yes. you know, what, what they're trying to do here, Pulse and, and, and all the other kind of demo spaces around the UK, and, which is a really positive thing. I think, you know, the industry's really come on in, 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 that, in that regard, um, trying to, you know, bring those emotions, yep. those memories into, into people's homes so and, and 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 like we were talking about sort of right at the top of this this is all about content it's all about um enjoyment emotions spending time with people that you love watching something that's entertaining so i wanted to ask uh, this is probably the hardest question of the whole thing is do you have any real favorites in terms of content can be movies, can be music, oh, gosh. can be uh, whatever you like, but just something that you come back to, perhaps time after time, just because it it gives you a qualitative experience. The, the, okay, so you just asked a very difficult question. It is hard. It's, it's like saying, "Who's your favorite child?" Yes, yes, I know. But and 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 what mood are you in? At least for me. So uh, I I'm very like mood dependent. Depending on my mood, there's certain songs that I would like, albums, etc. But I will say this. I'm sorry. I didn't even let you chime in here, but I'm just going to take over. Because you're marketing. Right I'm only sales. <laughs> but there is this one movie that I absolutely love because it's a director that I admire. But it's more the story. And that's Guillermo de Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because Olivia, and I was a little kid. So I grew up, so when I was a little mm. kid, um, I... Um, I have a very dark side of me, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though I'm lighthearted <laughs> and I am humorous. Do you have your socks on today? No, I don't. Oh. I don't have my socks on. Ah! 
Are you going to share those? So- are no, you going to share, no, that, story? Won't share okay. that story? Don't share that story. <laughs> Scary socks. But um, I always was fascinated with creatures mm. and the dark side and the fantasy of creatures and you know what they were going to and et cetera. And I think that's where my passion, obviously, with sci-fi and Star Wars, working on mm. working on um, Star Wars, came from. But it was also this. Um, it was also this. Um, you know what wh- her her spirit was about is that you can believe and there's um, there's something else out there and what you fight for and you're going to champion it. And I was that little girl. So in my, ho- in my home, um, I'm the first generation of Mexican, immig- um, Mexican parents and I was a translator when I was in, my, in, my, in, my, in Los Angeles. And I think being a translator actually helped me tap into emotions because when you have to translate, not only are you trying to do like, you know, okay, what is this in it's the other language? It's not just the words, is it? It's but it's, the, yeah. it's also the physical hmm. and the emotion. I feel an anxiety. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that. And, um, and I guess that's what also tapped me into wanting to, I, have a, I love people. I have a fascination for people, but I also, as a little kid, I always saw the good in people. Like I always saw the potential in people. And so it was something about that character that really resonated with me because she had this strong belief of no, what they, what I was told is real and I'm just going to live this and I'm going to, I'm going to be who I am until the end. And it really tapped into me. And so that's one film that I watch over and over again because I can drift off and I sometimes, I know I, you know, again, not, not shy of saying that I turned 50. I feel like as we get older, we lose sight of our childhood, mm. the youthful spirit, and I never want to lose that again. So that's a film that I watch over and over again. Oh, now you're looking at me for All right, now I'll go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be much more shallow than that because I, I, I don't have separate, you know, one favorite movie. You know, I may be in a goofy mood and I want to watch My Cousin Vinny. I don't know. Mm. Um I may want to watch James Bond. Utes. Right? Utes, yeah, <laughs> Utes. Yeah, and so, um, you know, I could be in James Bond. But what I like about the Cladoscape system, I'm on the cover art. Maybe I, I, I feel like watching something that's a spy-type movie. And, you know, on the cover view, it shuffles. and like, you know, I saw that movie, but I haven't seen that one for a while. I'll watch it. So I don't have one type of movie that, because I'm all over the board, you know. I, but I will say one thing about everybody at Cladoscape. Yes. Everybody at Kaleidoscape is super passionate yes. about movies or yes. concerts. Yes. And, and I think uh, new employees come on. We have a company meeting uh, once a month, and new employees are directed. And I'll go back to Luke O'Brien because he's always asked the famous question. He puts that new employee on the spot in front of every other employee we have and says, what's your favorite movie? And uh, it puts them on the spot because they have to think. Mm-hmm. But, you know, some people are deep like Norma. Some people are shallow <laughs> like me. But everybody's got something they think yes, about, they you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, so there is, I just love movies, you know. And I'm glad they're still being made. I'm glad there's, you know, Top Gun, you know, Maverick. It was a fun movie to watch. It and, um, you know, we've got. Saved the, the movie industry, according to yes, Mr. It did. Cameron. From theatrical. Yeah, yeah. I did. I, think, I, th- I mean, I, maybe a. A little bit of a, an overstatement, but I think there's something in that. I mean, people went to the theatres again and got excited exactly. about a genuine kind of popcorn blockbuster movie. And the theatres needed that. I mean, there was, you know, for the yeah. COVID, there was a long block that didn't happen. And uh, it's kind of maybe, gener- you know, regenerated the industry again and bring it back. And, you know, we just have a new release with Avatar, which, you know, came into our store. And uh, it's, it's it's pretty interesting. Watch the clip today. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. yeah. It looks good. I mean, it's been a while. Yeah. But, you know, I think that was always going to be the case with it. Uh but it's um, you know it's great to have that content. I know a lot of dealers have been asking about this idea of kind of you know uh, movies at the same time and all that kind of stuff. But I, I you know I, I think I think getting something a qualitative experience is less important than having it like you know do you want it right or do you want it right now? That that that's a you know uh, I think a truism for a lot of things. Well, I also think that you know people have been listening to music for a while, earbuds, right. and they got into that earbud state. And you know when we're watching a movie, you want to have what we were talking about earlier. You want to have the immersive sound. You want to mm-hmm. have, you want to get that feeling, and you want to get a, you know you just want to get lost in that movie. And it's not always possible in streaming. You know you may be watching the movie, and all of a sudden starts to buffer you get the circle of death that's that, that kind of that stops the whole that stops the whole experience that's a buzzkill yeah it really is a buzzkill and with Classcape you don't because we download that movie bit for bit and and you're watching it just as the director 
wanted you to see it and hear it. And I think that's important. I mean, we're not here to edit what they've done. They're the artists. Yep. You know, yep. that's why, you know, I like it because all of a sudden for two and a half hours, I can get <clears throat> totally immersed in yeah. in something and forget about the rest of the world and just enjoy it. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Isn't it? Talking of buzzes, I understand you've got a gift. <gasps> oh, shoot. It's upstairs. For, for Mike and for yes. Capes, actually. And we'd, we'd mm -hmm. like to maybe try and get that on audio or, or camera as well. Okay. Because yeah. uh, I think just it's bring from a, a special bag. ranch bag. somewhere, isn't it? Just, um, yeah, a little ranch. ranch. You know, we all there's 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 little you know there's ranches around the world, and just yeah, I just we, I just made a little stop because I thought, oh, well, I'm going to come visit them. I need I can't be empty-handed. So there's all sorts of there's a Yellowstone ranch. Is there? There's, yeah, okay. And yeah, there's right. some other type of ranches. Yeah, so I guess we can talk about that other one. Yeah, and there's, there's a little a ranch one. in Florida, which is my little ranch. But, you know, it's a tiny little ranch. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> did, I always wondered, does the word farm mean anything in, in, in the USA? Is it just not like everything's a ranch? No. Everything's a farm? No, I actually say I live on a farm. Okay. And I do live on a farm. You do live on a farm. I do live on a Tell farm. Tell us about your farm. How big is your farm? Small. So I have a little 40-acre farm, and I have horses. Little? That's not yeah. little. That's not little. Well, wait, wait. Maybe in America up. it's little. Compared to my neighbors, it's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> okay. So, but, you know, but that brings up another point with Kaleidoscape, right. because people say, well, God, you live in the country. You can't do anything. You know, you don't have good internet. I've heard people say that, mm. but I actually, I do. I have Starlink, and I'm actually downloading movies in, in the country, and uh, it's working just awesome. So, yeah, that's awesome. Here we go. Okay, here so, we go. You know, one of the things that's been great, though, is we have, uh, we've we had great hosts. Mike and Capes have been yes. really great hopes to set this up yes. this week. And uh, I know, Norma, you have a little uh, something you'd like to present I, I to them. Do. Yeah. I do. Let's try and see if we can... Okay, let's see if we can sort this little gift, this little gift out. Okay, um, let's see. And I wanted to be very clever in that I wanted to create... Okay. No, it's not Louis the Thirteenth. So there is a little tear on this one, which, if my memory serves me correctly, I think this is this is yours, Mike, and this is yours. Okay. And Thank you so much. Okay. I thought it was his birthday. No. Oh, well, that it's was that's past. I'm it's working on the next one now. It's your Thank you. Today. Yeah. All right. Yep. Should we so open I stopped by a little ranch, yeah. a little one. I went, I stopped by because... Yeah. Um, What's the name of that ranch? It's on the outside of the bag, isn't it? I don't know. Mike <laughs> says... Sky oh, something. Oh, Sky Walker. Oh, look at that. And, I, this, and I, got, I got you guys just some little gifts oh, wow. because I... A, first of all, I'm extremely grateful wow. for our partnership. And um, you guys are just... Your team and you are just awesome. Great partners. Thank you so great much. Partners. Great partners. Thank you so much. And you